Good morning from Iesos, where we visited the antique city yesterday. It's very, very, very early, but Timo and I want to go on a hike today. And it's about an hour and a half drive away from here. And since it's very hot already at the moment, we have to be early. So I'm going to fetch a quick coffee and hit the road and see you there. Wow. We're so high up, Timo. And that with the haze and the early sun. Woohoo! time for this drive because I thought red's gonna be so slow I need twice the amount but on these roads a normal car doesn't go that much faster either so I think we're gonna be super early so what do we do today we're gonna find a monastery and it's up in the mountains and if have to hike there, there's no other way of getting there, and I want to find it. And from that hike, we most likely have the most beautiful views over Lake Baffa. So, yeah, this is gonna be good, real good. Tivo! We're on our way and it's already so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the view. Buffa Lake. But the path. Make somebody happy on a very deep level. Wow, 
I'm so glad I came. And then at the end, if we make it, a monastery. So let's do it. an article in an online newspaper and she said it's a killer hike <laughs> no it's a hike to die for and it's not even far so let's continue What a trail. I love it. Already hot. something that I don't know of, but Timo does. He keeps looking back, wanting to turn back to check it out, but we're not doing that. What is behind us? A doggy, a piggy, maybe another jackal. Let's hope not, Timo. Then you just stick with me. Getting close. Oh yeah! There it is! Okay, 15 minutes or so Timo, then we're there. What is it that if you know you're nearly there, the going gets tough? Ah. Poo -poo. I see a sign, so I guess the Carian Trail passes here too. Oh, doing this with 15 kilos on your back. Oh, no, thank you. Look at it, in the morning sun. Woo. Let's go check it out. I was told that's a chapel. You cannot get in. <laughs> Look at those boulders next to it. Oh. I have to go back a little, backtrack, 
and see if you can approach it from the other side. What a place, Timo! Good enough for us, Timo. Oh, it's so clever to see how they used the existing rock and just added what they needed. Brilliant. The old cells, the monks. A bed, a chair, chamber pot, and that's it. What a view! <laughs> Short courtyard, don't know, maybe storage, defense, defense wall, yeah, could be. Oh, made of natural stone. Yediler Monastery was built in the 7th century and later when the Persians came to raid this area lots of monks and priests fled here because it was nice and high up and safe in the mountains. They even had water reservoirs here so that they didn't have to go down to get water. I read that somewhere so I was thinking wow that's a lot of work to fill up those reservoirs but on my way up here I found a little trickle of a stream, so I can imagine in the winter there's plenty of water here and you can fill up as many tanks as you like. So I think that was doable. But yeah, from down below, you don't even see it. Perfect place to hide. And the occasional one that finds you, they had their defense walls, I guess they were safe. Definitely a neat place. Bucket list material. So glad I came. Absolutely remarkable. I mean, just think of yourself standing on the edge doing the brickwork or bringing it up there with buckets. <laughs> Look at the place. It's fantastic.
And that's how you make steps on a boulder. <laughs> man, man, man. Oh, please. Somewhere in one of these hollow rocks, I call the Menia Hollow, there's some frescoes. But hey, I'm not Christian, and frankly, I don't care much for frescoes and hollow spaces, caves, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> so you have to come yourself here if you want to see that. I'm going to see if there's a way out. My batteries are slowly going empty, so. Hope you had a good time, hope you liked the monastery and the hike. We're gonna saunter back and find breakfast somewhere. See you next week.